Welcome back to Gatabud. This is my guide on how to play the piano poorly, but good enough to get the Piano Virtuoso Trophy and be well on your way to a Platinum. Don't let this be the end of the road. We can do this. With your dexterous touch and weave your enchanting melody for many years to come. To get the Platinum Trophy, you have to get A rank or better on these six songs. And then there are two more songs that are not required for the Platinum Trophy. This one is your reward for finishing all six songs, A rank or better, from Dorian. And then this is the world's worst reward that I could have possibly thought of for the 88 out of 88 for Johnny's Inn. Oh, baby, there's the platinum. All right, what's in the crate? What's in the crate? I don't even know. Are you kidding me? It's a song? Oh. I'm literally never even going to attempt that. My feelings have not changed. I have not attempted this yet. I don't care. I do not care. What I do care is getting y'all to Platinum Trophy. And this song in particular almost broke me. It took me an entire weekend of trying off and on, practicing, and then taking breaks... I would say about 10 to 12 hours time investment. There wasn't another mini game where I had to really work as hard as I did on something. And I feel like that's part of why this Platinum was so fulfilling in the end. Because I really worked hard for it and I'm proud of it. One of the things that you have to decide on is note speed. There is... A wide variety of people on the internet that believe and perform better with the faster note speed. I think that the notes not having as many on your screen all at the same time I think is helpful to some people. I personally was completely dysfunctional trying to do it this way. Like, yeah, not for me, but for other people, that worked really well. I want to put that out there. I was doing it on the slowest speed, and I did that for every song, even two legs. And that is how I function. I needed to, like, think about it before pressing the button and, like, plan out in my head how I was going to move my fingers on this controller. But to each their own. The next thing you have to decide is how you are going to do this visually. A lot of people need the notes to be larger. So you need to blow it up on your screen. Or you need to get your eyeballs right on your TV. I have an 85 inch TV right in front of me. That's what I play on. So I was as close to the thing as I could get and I was just lasered in on the notes and I wasn't looking at the rest of the screen. It was big enough for me, but if you have a smaller TV, I'm gonna show you the accessibility settings route that you can go to make this bigger. Some of y'all might not have an 85 inch TV and you need this thing bigger. And there's a workaround in the accessibility section of settings. You go to accessibility, you click display and sound, and then zoom. And start zoom adjustment. Looks like you press square and the PS button at the same time. Oh, okay. That's pretty nice, actually. Um, can I zoom it even more though? Switch magnification. Oh yeah. If you keep pressing PS and square. You 
<laughs> you could get it literally completely blown up on the screen like this. Um, I highly recommend this, actually. I didn't do this uh, when I beat it, but I like this a lot. This is one of the things I saw in uh, the Facebook groups for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I've been a frequent guest in the comments section on those. I'm going to try to get a competent Eris theme. I am as close to my TV as I can possibly be. And this is an 85 inch TV. These notes are going to get burned into my skull right now. I'm staring at the right hand one and I'm trying to survive on the left hand one. And I'm also trying not to let the left hand one mess me up on the right. And if you're really bad at the left hand one, you might just want to completely ignore it and just try to get the right perfect on a uh, two step or whatever it's called. That's not going to cut it. You got to get the left right, but on this one, you might be able to skip it. I'm like super dyslexic though, so my brain just really struggles with having to go in two different directions at the same time. But that's a lot better than having to go in two different directions like like tap tap style you know what I'm trying to say like we see that a lot on two step and I was just getting manhandled by this game oh there we go bad piano bud ladies and gentlemen Oh my god, did I just do that? Yes, I did. Oh, move over, Mozart. Okay, it's time for us to move on to two legs, nothing to it. I kept calling it two-step because I'm a confused dyslexic, but it is two legs. The first thing that I want to say before we get into my breakdown is... This song has some very distinct parts to it where you need to break this thing down one part at a time. Get good at one thing to the point where you can't miss. So logically, that should be the start of the song first. Do the first couple bits flawlessly and learn that to the point where you can't mess up. I'm going to show you the part that is basically going to determine your success or failure. It's very tough to do. And there's a couple of other parts in there that you also just need to be automatic on and don't miss. If you are struggling with a later part and you want to practice it, what you need to do is I have this broken down by several sections on this video of small parts that you can repetitively watch. Keep your controller in your hand and try to do it and then click to the start of the section again. Use the little timestamps in the description and just get it down until you can't miss and really make an effort to try to make the stuff that you're stumbling with later in the song a non-issue and then it's going to come down to hitting the hard stuff that no amount of practice is going to get you that much better at at least for me personally also when watching this thing to try to learn it it will help you tremendously if you click the playback speed button here on youtube 
and reduce it to 25% speed so that you can better get the timing down, especially when you're comparing the left side versus the right side. Are they at the same time? Which one's going first? I was always so confused trying to do that in real time. So slowing it down helps a ton. Without further ado, here is my winning attempt on two legs, nothing to it, where I got A rank literally by 10 points. The first section is 26 seconds, has 22 notes. If you are trying to make a true attempt at A rank and you're not trying to practice a different part, you need to get all 22 of these notes perfectly or you need to start over. The next 10 notes are a repetitive sequence that you'll see multiple times in the song. You can forgive yourself for missing a note or two. This is the first part where I genuinely had trouble. I recommend you mute this video and slow it down to 25% speed and try to slowly press the sequence on your controller and get it down. Focus in on just this. Use the timestamps to keep watching this over and over. This is the spot that will make or break your attempt. This is the true make or break moment. Try to at least get good on most of these. Now we begin the one easy part of this song. You need to be perfect here. You need to also catch your breath and just kind of mentally reset and get locked in and ready for the final stretch. We get the intro sequence again and then we're doing that crazy circle again and your success is literally going to come down to can you execute in this moment having taken care of business in the previous parts and it's easier said than done trust me after you finish the circle don't breathe the sigh of relief you still got to punch these final like six notes so don't screw these up Just remember, I mentioned this before, it took me like 12 hours worth of attempts to beat this by 10 points. If you put the work in, you will eventually get better every time. If you find yourself in a rut, take a break, try again later, slow down that last section and watch it on repeat, really soak it in and you're gonna get there and you're gonna get your platinum trophy and let me know when that happens. Until next time, my friends, thank you again for tuning in to Gatabud. Three, four. Da, 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 da. Thank you so much, bro, for everything. Thank you so much, bro, for everything.